This is my new Helion Canvas GT191 version 2 graphic monitor. That's a mouthful. Uh, my boyfriend bought me this for my birthday slash anniversary present. I'm very, very happy with it. Uh, I just wanted to do a little bit of review on it for those of you who'd like to know if it's worth buying or not. Um, I did a lot of research before I bought this and or decided on it. My boyfriend bought it. <laughs> um, but it, I kept coming back to this one. Um, I researched different brands like the X-Pen, of course the Wacom, which was out of my price range anyways. Um, but And and then different uh, display monitors with from Helion, uh, like the, the Pro 22 and the other one, Canvas 13, I believe it was called, or it's called. You know, I just, I, like I said, I kept coming back to this one. It's got a 19 and a half inch screen, I, HD I, IPS screen, and I find the size is very comfortable. Um, it's perfect for drawing. I have it hooked up to my little Vivo book for now. I'm waiting for my desktop computer to come back out of the shop. It has a battery free pen, which is nice, and the little buttons are set. The, this one's set for eraser, and this one's set for color match. But of course, you can change that in the uh, graphic or the driver settings. Let's open up a new paper here just to show you, make sure it's on. Pen and black. Oh. I'll try to zoom out a little bit because it's <laughs> oh, too close. For straight lines, uh, There's, you know, the jitters, pretty darn good, so. Um, I do have, in Clip Studio here, I have the stabilization set to about 42, which helps too, but if I just turn that off and try again, do this again, I'm trying to get used to the shortcuts on the keyboard. I'm not used to that at all, but I'm learning. <laughs> I really want to get a, wait, let's undo this right here. I really want to get a remote for the shortcut keys. Uh, you can buy one on Amazon. I think it's an X-Pen remote uh, for about 50 bucks. Um, and there's also a Clip Studio Tab Mate. Uh, that's the one I really want to get. Um, I'll be buying that soon. Because I'm not really liking the keyboard. It slows down the workflow. So I think a remote would be much more convenient. Anyway, so now I have the stabilization off. So let's just try this again. It's still... Still pretty good. Oh yeah. So just a couple more things I want to mention. The pen comes with a bunch of different nibs, extra nibs, and you can adjust the monitor um, position with this little lever in the back and just pull it up and we have a bunch of it goes right down if you want it flat and whatever position you are comfortable with 
I honestly don't think too many people will be disappointed um, with this monitor. Um, I love it. Um, I've only had it for about a week now, so, but uh, so far, uh, I, yeah, I absolutely love it. I can't seem to get off of it. <laughs> And um, I think the overall drawing experience uh, is just beautiful. That's my opinion. And for the price, I don't think you can uh, really go wrong. Hi, so. my name is Leo. Welcome to my artsy comfort zone. Wow, I'm on video. I can't believe it. Ah. <laughs> um, I'm really nervous because this is the first time I've recorded myself for a YouTube video. Um, for my channel so anyways um, I plan on getting better and making uh, the videos better and uh, learning anyways um, I'm super obviously really small time youtuber uh, but I hope you enjoyed my little tutorial or it's not a tutorial a review I want to do tutorials soon um, well more tutorials I know I have a f maybe a few on uh, Photoshop tutorials on YouTube on my channel right now but uh, yeah I'm stumbling over my words a lot I'm kind of trying to say things on the top of my head because I'm so new to this um, uh, coffee helps though anyway um, if you want to check out some of my art visit my website the links below um, and I also put links for the uh, Clip Studio tab made and uh, the X Pen remote on Amazon. And until next time, enjoy your day. Thanks for watching. Hit subscribe. Show me some support. It would be great.